Hi, my name is Catherine Wendt with Siscon, and thanks for taking a moment of your time. Today I wanted to share with you a book that I recently finished. It was recommended by Rob from my accountability group. Thank you, Rob. Uh, we actually ended up turning it into a project at Siscon. I'll tell you about that in a moment. It's called QBQ, The Question Behind the Question. What to really ask yourself to eliminate blame, victim thinking, complaining, and procrastination by John G. Miller. So when faced with a problem, we have some choices about how we respond and what questions and dialogue we put through our head. In this book, he's sharing stories and little vignettes of people that he has watched turn this really into life-changing things, not just for the person that was involved and how they handled a difficult situation or a circumstance they were in, but how they really elevated all the people around them based on how they chose to handle the situation. So he's got three rules for a good QBQ. There's good questions, there's bad questions. He's talking about a good one now. First rule is that the question that you ask yourself has to begin with what or how. Not why or when or who, but what or how. The second is it has to contain the word I rather than you or them. And the third one is there has to be an action word in there. So when you put those together, you often get the good question behind the question. There are some strong life scenarios that he shares in here and really good stories, which is what prompted me to bring this as a project to the company. So what we did is we read a couple chapters together, um, one day each week, and then we shared it open for discussion. We had some great conversations, great time of sharing. Everyone got a copy of the book and we worked it through that way. So he does have a warning at the end of the book. Well, actually he warns a couple times during the book. It's very tempting as you read this to think about who you should give the book to, who should be asking the better question behind the question. But he warns you, start with yourself. So again, I do recommend it. It's called QBQ by John G. Miller. It's not a new book. It's been around for a while, but it is a great reminder about our personal responsibility. Thanks for your time, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Music